Hey everybody, it's me again, the Lego Master, and happy Mario Day. Um, today is March 10th, which is Mario Day, and um, Lego first announced the uh, theme Lego Super Mario on Mario Day 2020. Well, today, on Mario Day, um, they've announced some new cool sets, and I'm going to go over those today. So, let's dive into it. Before we begin this video, please like and subscribe for more cool videos. Okay, so, this is a very surprising wave, and we're going to start off with that there is not going to be another maker set. In fact, Wave 2's maker set, as far as I know, it may actually be the last one. I may have actually uh, been wrong about the maker set. A new maker set. They're not making a maker set this wave. They're making a Lego Peach starter set. Which actually surprises me because while everybody's been saying Lego Peach should come out, that doesn't seem right for some reason because Peach is usually needing to be rescued. So I would have thought, if anything, Peach would have been a non-interactable character in maybe Resnor Knockdown where Blue Toad was up on top of that tower needing rescuing and maybe... The Toads need a rescuing in Super Mario Maker 2, but most of the games you'll find that Peach needs rescuing. Yes, maybe in Super Mario 3D World, Peach got to play, but in Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario Bros., and many other games, Peach needed rescuing. It's actually kind of... Um, what makes Mario Mario is that Peach gets captured by Bowser, taken to his castle, or in Bros. U, um, Bowser takes over her castle and still captures her, and then Mario and Luigi's job is to rescue her. So, making a Peach interactable character doesn't seem the best option. They should have put in Blue Toad or even Yellow Toad as an interactable character. Now, this starter set does come with a Yellow Toad, but he's not interactable, and apparently you can give fruit to him. There's fruit in the set, and you can give it to him, or Peach can eat it. And then, uh, so we'll have to figure out more about this later. And then we have Lemmy Koopa on a tower that you can apparently knock him off of, which seems fun. And Lemmy Koopa is my favorite Koopaling, so I'm excited to get him, finally. Because up to this point, all we got was Larry Koopa. Um, as a coupling. So now I'm glad we're getting two more. Now, I think Lego Mario might be done with the $10 power up packs because they aren't making any this wave either. Wave 4 didn't have one, but it did have the Lab and Poltergust set with the Poltergust in it, but no power up packs. Um, yeah, no power-up packs, so, um, but they do have another set including a power-up, um, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, but first I'm going to tell you what expansion set replaced it this time, because last time we got Bowser Jr.'s clown car, so this time we're getting the Shoe Goomba expansion set. It's also $10 and it's uh, it's got a, another enemy, a Goomba, and a giant shoe that I'm assuming Mario, Luigi, or now Peach could get into. Next we have Fuzzy Flippers expansion set. It's going to be $20. And it's going to have two fuzzies. And the first thing that makes me think that this uh, wave is going to have at least one new biome. It probably is going to have 
the orange mushroom platform, which is basically going to be sky biome. I think this because A, mushroom platforms show up a lot in this wave, and B, because um, apparently the mushroom trampolines can go down and then um, supposedly bounce you up, which is going to be pretty cool. This set's going to have two fuzzies, which you can apparently flip on little orange seesaws. Next, we have Yoshi's Gift House expansion set, which reminds me a lot of um, Mario's House and Yoshi from Wave 1. Especially because, like that set, we get a green Yoshi again and a house for Yoshi. We also get um, something like this hammock for Mario to sleep in. But instead, it's Yoshi's bed. It also has... A Monty Mole again. The last time Monty Mole showed up was in Wave 1, so we're finally getting another one. So, the next set makes me wonder what I've always been wondering. Um, if LEGO ever made white into a new biome, would they make it sky or snow? Because it could very well be a cloud, or it could very well be snow. Well, this set makes me wonder if it's going to be Cloud, because it's Big Spike's Cloud Top cl Challenge. It's got a lot of white in it. It's also got a Big Spike, a Boomerang Bro, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, this Boomerang Bro looks awesome, and I've been waiting for a Hammer Bro or something like that, or a Fire Bro even. But they made a Boomerang Bro first, which is kind of surprising. And next we have... Um, Another set with Maga Koopa, and the last set we had with Maga Koopa was Bowser's Airship, um, which was a pretty cool set, and it was the biggest set until the next set I'm going to tell you about came. But this set is Cat Peach and Frozen Tower. So, like I said before, it seems like they're no longer making power-up packs, and instead they put one power-up pack in a set per wave. So this one is Cat Peach in uh, a Frozen Tower expansion set that's going to be $80. It's got a Maggie Koopa, a Cat Goomba, and a Red Toad again. It's got some cool looking mechanism for the Cat Peach suit. So undoubtedly this set should be interesting. And the last and biggest Ever Mario set we have and this is of course not including uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System or the Super Mario 64 question mark block I don't really count those as the main wave yes each of them does have something reactable for Mario to do but I don't really count it as part of the normal wave and this set is Peach's Castle which is Despite that it's Peach's castle, I mean, I myself am not a big fan of Peach. That doesn't mean you don't have to be, but um, I'm really not a big fan of Peach. Especially, uh, and I don't really think she should be an interactable player because um, she's always being rescued. Or she, uh, yeah, she's normally being rescued. But this castle is still pretty cool. I mean... I played Mario Maker 2, I played Story Mode, um, I built Peach's Castle, and I really liked building that, um, so I have appreciation for Peach's Castle. Uh, it has Bowser again, finally, uh, because they retired Bowser's Castle, and now you can't really get the final boss anymore. Which, I mean, I got Bowser's Castle, but still... For those of you who didn't get Bowser's Castle, I guess that would be pretty annoying to not have a final boss to end your Mario world. Um, and it has one of my favorite Koopalings, Ludwig von Koopa. He is awesome. Um, they even got his hairdo right. Uh, so this set is pretty cool. It also has a cake with an enemy in it. It was a Goomba. Uh, in Super Mario Bros. Wii, um, this is probably based off of Super Mario Bros. Wii because the Koopaling, uh, they had a cake, 
delivered to Peach's castle for her birthday and the Koopalings all jumped out of it. It doesn't fit any Koopaling, but it fits a Goomba, so that's pretty cool. It also has a new Babom and Toadette. And I'm guessing they put Toadette there because of story mode for Mario Maker 2, because uh, Toadette was kind of the construction boss um, for Mario. Like, she, to she was chief in that. Uh, and Mario basically worked for her to build the castle. So she's probably in there because of that. And that makes Peach's Castle the biggest Mario set yet. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope you like this video, and I hope you like Wave 5. I'll probably make a new video um, soon saying what I like about this uh, wave and what I don't like and what I think about this wave overall. And I'll, So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll get that video out soon, and I'll see you next time.